Every day in their ordinary lives, our children have loads of opportunities to subtract. Lending some toys to a friend and seeing how many they have left. Counting treats and working out how many should be left if everyone has one. Having some money to spend and working out how much they'll still have if they buy a game. Things like that, real questions about real stuff that they can see and touch. These bring subtraction to life for our children. In our children's lives, it's not numbers and signs on a page that they'll most need to deal with, but real life events. So, teachers often give children real lifelike problems, like the ones I've just described, to solve in their maths lessons. But without practice, children can find this type of question, where they're not actually told exactly what kind of calculation to do, pretty tricky. They can find themselves asking, am I supposed to add or subtract or maybe even multiply or divide? The more we encourage our children to tackle subtraction in their everyday lives, the easier they'll find it both at home and at school. Games, whether they're popular board games or simple homemade games like subtraction bingo, in which children have to match a simple subtraction question with its answer, are another great way to bring subtraction into the, our children's everyday lives.